You know, sometimes um, the harder I work, the more stuff just falls to pieces. Oh, man, it's cold this morning. Okay, let's get her... Uh, The cap mixing buckets are a paddle style auger mixing solution. The auger is equipped with hardened paddles that rotate throughout the interior of the bucket to ensure thorough mixing that is repeatable every time. So I went outside and grabbed a handful uh, of just some of the material I'm running through the uh, machine. The biggest one here looks like this. I need it to, yeah, see it's, it's still not, the steel's still really, really hot. It's not, uh, hopefully that ain't going to be an issue. This side I took it off completely. Uh, this one over here, I'm hoping, really, uh, that's a toss up, you know? I just might have to uh, just take that whole piece off. Man, oh man, what a pain in the butt that I have to do this. See stuff would get in here. See that? I could see it just sitting right there just grinding away. It broke. See over there it broke a bolt. I think what happens is the rocks come down in like this and they wedge and then it just it see how the paint peels off it just it binds you can also drive into piles with the cutting edge that's out front of this bucket whether it be sand gravel dirt that you're going to mix with limestone for a base you can drive into those raw material piles with the cutting edge load the desired amount that you want and simply go back to the mixing operation Mixer. Look at this brand new mixer. I turned it on to go for in the forward motion and This sprocket the idle sprocket came off Poked a big dent in the thing What? Straight from the factory come on. I mean come on You know I'm trying to fix this damn thing so it works and and somebody didn't tighten the bolts I didn't, they never, look at this, it's all, cause I, I, my God, I was trying to fix these stupid paddles so I could work this thing, so I could get my money out of this thing, and I turned it on and it wouldn't go in the forward position, I'm like, what the heck is wrong? And I was just turning it, I checked everything inside that, the sprocket came off. Oh man, why? Why does this happen to me? I mean, does this happen to everybody? Please tell me this happens to everybody. You buy a brand new PC equipment and it breaks. What? I mean, what am I? Uh, I am so fuming right now. I just.
So I had to modify this. I think what I'm going to do is when the guys show up, if they ever show up, then I'm just going to have them take the grinder and just shave some of this off just so that there's an edge on it like this all the way. Um, I think that would be the best. That way when the rocks get in there, that the rocks will will hopefully, hopefully they'll turn out, you know, pull out of um pull out of the way like this here nice big wide some of these need to be just hit with the grinder and smoothed off just i think all you need it is the very beginning of it just to uh have that rock curl but see this i didn't do this this is from running you know the mixer uh Everything I looked online, everything I've tried to find, I couldn't find anything decent. These bolts were loose. This uh, adjuster sprocket came off, went up there and jammed it, which wrecks this whole shroud. So I'm going to try and fix that and uh, try to put the door back, the shroud back on. Uh, it's nice to see that, you know, like the cat mixer, because this company makes this mixer for cat. It's nice to see that they didn't be chimsy or, you know, they, they spent the time and the money to put in decent gear and all that. But I think what I might do is... Um, this winter when I have some downtime, I might put a half a link in here, take this out and cut it and just put a half link in just so there's, so there's not so much slop in there. Um, I'll just have to see later on. So I'm gonna, I tightened up these bolts here. I guess I should make sure that these are all tight as well. I don't want to I shouldn't have to worry about these, but you know what? While well, I've got the cover off, I might as well just stick a wrench on there and tighten those as well. So, luckily I didn't wreck my, or did I? No, that's a, the grease fitting thing is uh, well built. I, I just, you know, you buy something, you wanna, you wanna just get on it, and you want to run it this is my life this is this is why I don't get anywhere or get anything done I'm always overhauling brand new equipment that's why I don't like to buy new equipment I like to buy used equipment because somebody's already gone and figured everything out okay let's see if I can put this the other way I'm putting this under Just wait till after lunch and look. The other half will have to just take it out and see what it can do right now.
only thing the only thing I can think of doing is uh, just running it. it. Sounds like some of the something was binding in there, um, but it looked like a big chunk of concrete. Not a big chunk, but a small chunk of concrete fell out over there. So. The one paddle I cut too much out of, I see that there's some marks back there. Um, all I can think of doing is just running it, and uh, if it puts huge gouges in there, I'll just have to uh, just weld them up. I don't know what else to do. I can't. I can't buy a new bucket and spend all day working trying you know that uh, that's what I'll end up doing is just trying different things I'll take it out there I, I can see the things I cut off on the side the the stuff isn't really mixing right there this side is but this side really isn't because I took too much of the paddle off um, so what I'm gonna do is uh, once this job's over I, do, I only have probably, I have about six, I have about 10 yards of cement I have to pour. Um, hopefully that thing will do it. It's a half yard mixer is what I estimate. So hopefully I'll be able to do it all with that. And then after running 10 yards through it, I'll be able to have a better idea what's wrong. And then mixing I'll know